YouTube fans, I Clay kicks back again with a brand new video. And if you guys are new to the channel, strolling by, and have yet to subscribe, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoy the content you are seeing. Enough talking, let's get into the review. What's good, sneaker fans? I collect kicks back again with a brand new video, and today we have a new addition to the real versus fake series. This time we have the newly released Air Max One Pecan Ugly Duckling. We're gonna break down these shoes and show you guys what to look out for. So this is the fake pair. This is the real pair. And the first thing you want to do is check for the factory laces. Make sure it's the right color, the right material. And one way you can do that is by checking websites like Sneaker Files, and they have all the release info and info on the sneaker. So you can look at those pictures and compare it to the shoe you purchased. As you can see, the fake pair has a light brown kind of khaki color and the authentic has a yellow color. So way off, it's not correct. So that's one red flag. You always want to make sure you find at least three or four red flags before you start claiming a shoe is fake. Now, if you get a used pair, someone might have, you know, lace swapped. So we're going to continue with other details to look at. Next up, we're gonna look at the mud guard. As you guys can see, the colors are different from each other. The fake pairs will never get the color correct, so they'll always be a shade or two off, but you can see the material is different as well. So on the fake pair, you actually got your generic suede, and on the authentic, this is actually a pigskin leather. So you can actually see it moves around, right? You can see on this one, totally different material. And it does not change colors when you try to brush it. So that's something else to look out for. Now we're going to check the outsoles. This is the fake. This is the authentic. Just looking at the two shoes, you can see a big difference, right? You can see the fake pair is a different color. It's much lighter. It also has no speckles. So little details like speckles or a different color air unit. Those are things that these fake factories tend to forget sometimes. If you look at the authentic, it's a darker outsole, and you can see the speckles throughout, right? So that's another easy red flag to locate. And you don't even need the authentic pair to compare to the fake or the pair you're suspicious of. All you have to do is go to websites like Sneaker Files, and you can look at those mock photos and compare it to yours. Little details like this will easily help you determine whether your pair is fake or not. But I tell people all the time, Try to use StockX, Goat, or eBay. At least someone with experience looking at shoes can look at your shoe before you even get it. So it kind of eliminates the risk of you getting caught with a fake shoe. Now, these are both size 10 and a half. The replica is really more of a size 11. It's bigger than the authentic 10 and a half. Another thing to look out for are the accessories. So these authentic pair of Pecan Air Max ones come with an extra pair of laces. This fake pair right here does not. So like we've seen with the orange lobsters, they tend to forget the bands or sometimes the laces or they put the wrong colors. So always look at those details right there. The authentic comes with a brown extra pair of laces. You can see there is no Nike logo on the lace bag. You can see it's a tall, slim lace bag right there. You can see how the laces are wrapped. Those are other things to look out for as well. So the fakes usually tend to forget to add those things. From this angle, we're going to look at the toe box area. So you do have a wider, bulkier cut on the replica compared to the authentic, which is a little bit more narrow. Also, you want to look at the material. You can see the toe box area. It's a regular suede on the replica. But when you look at the authentic, you do have that kind of dusty look to it, right? To that suede, that pigskin suede. And you can see the hairs brush around. So you got way better materials used on the authentic than they did on the replica. So another big difference is this stitch work. So if we look right above the toe box area, you can see the fake one right here and look at the authentic. Look at the difference in the color of the stitching they chose to use. Also look at the difference in sizing. So if you don't have an authentic pair to compare to the fake, again, you can use Sneaker Files website or any other sneaker website to compare with the mock photos. You can see this right here is a big detail and they're very off from each other. So you can also see the upper paneling of that suede is a lighter brown compared to the darker brown on the authentic. Also, the materials are different. Again, they use that pigskin suede on the authentic, which they didn't use on the replica. 
So another detail that can help you is looking at the shape and cut of the back end of the shoe. So if we look at this area right here, this is the fake, this is the real. You guys can see that it's a sharper cut, right? Kind of a pointier cut on the replica compared to the authentic, which is a little bit more rounder, right? You can see the difference in the colors on the tags as well. Look at the difference in the font, right? Look at the Air Max. It's more bubbled on the authentic than it is on the replica. You can see the difference in the Nike logos as well, two different colors. On the interior of the replica, it is a leather. And on the authentic, you actually have a nylon. So those are little details to look out for. Obviously, you can see the difference in insoles, two different colors, right? Two different materials. It's actually a pigskin suede on that insole as well. So. Just a little details to help you guys not get scammed. So from this angle, you guys can see the difference, the real difference between the shapes, the materials, the color of the shoe, because you can see the whole shoe from the side. So if you look at the fake shoe, you can see that it is a leather swoosh, but on the authentic, it is a suede. You can also see the difference in the eye stays in color. It's much darker on the authentic than it is on the replica. Also, the shape. Look at the shape of the shoe. This one's a little bit more kind of pointier compared to the little bit more bulkier authentic pair. It's a little bit more rounder shape compared to the replica. Another thing to look out for is the air unit. It is a gray air unit compared to the yellowish gold of the authentic. So that's a big difference right there. So these are things you want to look at. You want to compare and you can use this for any Air Max one. You're trying to see whether it's fake or not. Always look at those mock-up photos if you don't actually have an authentic pair to compare it to. All right, guys. So now we're going to compare the back side of the shoe. This is the replica. This is the authentic. You guys can look at the embroidered duck on the back, which is one of the main details of the shoe. You can see on the fake pair, it is a smaller duck, right? You can see it's a different color. It's very light. Also, you can see the difference in embroidered detailed work. So on the authentic duck, you do have a longer beak. You can see it's too short on the replica. You can also see kind of the stance of the duck's head. This one's kind of turning and this one's kind of looking straight. Also, if you look at the detailed in the wing, so you can actually see the wing right here. And on the fake pair, you really can't see that. So you have better detailed work on the authentic pair than you do on the replica. Also, if you look at the cut of the back end of the suede, you can see the difference. It's more of a circular cut. And on the authentic, you have more of that square cut, that boxy cut. So those are things to always look out for. Also, the authentic is taller than the replica. But the replica is longer than the authentic. So now we're going to check out the inner guts. Let's look at the fake pair. This is what the fake pair looks like. And this is what the authentic pair looks like. Let's check out the insoles. This is the fake, this is the authentic. Flip them over. You can see the difference in tech. So looking at the fake one, it's very flimsy, very light. Like feels like a piece of paper. This one has more weight to it. It is a light insole as well, but it's not as flimsy. So that's the difference between there. And as you can see, the authentic actually has perforation holes. The replica does not. These are little details that can help you guys not get scammed. Also, it's dope to see the comparisons between the fake and the authentic. It's always good to see how far these fakes are coming so you guys could be up to date. So. Hopefully this was entertaining and also helpful. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!